Hey guys, Technomentary with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to completely erase or do a full reset to factory of your iPhone SE, first edition one that we have here. In this video, we're going to break everything down that you need to from signing out from your iCloud account to backing up and doing a full complete deletion of everything on your phone from all of your apps your media data all that information but before we go ahead and get started if you guys are new to our channel we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways make sure to hit that subscribe button also if you guys are in the market for one of the new iPhones or looking to upgrade and get a discounted price make sure you guys check out the link in the description section so let's go ahead and get started with uh, resetting your iPhone SC so the first thing you want to do is before you even think about resetting is back up your phone. So there's a couple ways to back up. One of the most popular ways to back up to your iCloud by simply going into settings. And if you have an iCloud account, make sure you're using the iCloud account here. And then you're going to go ahead, uh, make sure your iCloud is turned on and back it up there. If that's not an option for you, you can also connect it to your Computer, make sure you download an app called iTunes, which is available on Mac and PC. You can connect it with the USB connector here and you will be able to back it up there by following the instruction. We detail all of this video in another video. Make sure you do that because this will delete everything. And if you don't have a backup to restore to the new phone, you're going to be out of luck. So make sure you do that first. Next thing you want to do when you want to reset your phone is sign out of your iCloud account. So the way to sign out of your iCloud is you're going to be probably logged in with your name and such in your settings here. You're going to click on that and then all the way at the bottom you're going to see that sign out button. You're going to click that sign out button and when you click that it's going to ask you for your password. You're going to type in your password and that will sign you out of it. You need the original password to sign out. If you don't have your si password, you're going to have to reset it and then sign out. It's important that you sign out because if you don't sign out and reset the phone, what's going to happen is the phone is going to be iCloud or activation lock, which means when the next person is trying to set it up, if you're trying to set it up again, it's going to ask you for your iCloud information and you can't get to the home screen without it and Apple even can help you so make sure you sign out of your iCloud account and once you have done that you're ready to reset your phone and like we said again before you even think about resetting it make sure it's back up and you know for sure because this will delete your photos your videos your files your documents all of your apps anything you ever had on the phone back to factory default and if you're sure that you're good to go you're gonna go into settings and then go to general here in the general tab you're going to scroll all the way at the bottom and you'll see that reset option you're going to click on that reset option and you'll notice in the reset menu there's a couple options here we see some around settings around network reset keyboard home home screen layout all of that the one that we want to select is erase all content and settings so once you click that you're going to get a pop-up notification that Kind of warns you that this will delete all media and data and reset all of your settings. You're going to click on erase iPhone. And this is the last message before things cannot be undone. It's a final warning saying, are you sure you want to continue? Because this will delete your uh, media data setting and it cannot be undone. The only way to sort of undo it is backing it off from a restore if you backed up your iCloud or iTunes or on another phone so make sure you do that and once you're for sure again that you're ready you're going to want to click on erase iphone and the process will begin resetting your iphone deleting everything you had a pro tip before you even do that if you have like a lot of videos or photos if you start deleting that this process will go much quicker but if you don't that's also fine it will start doing a deletion and depending on how much stuff you had on your phone this can take a good five to ten minutes even longer again depends on how much storage you had and how much stuff was on the phone because it goes in and deletes it but if you didn't have much it will be a quick process uh, you just got it uh, wait a second or two and the good thing of whenever you're doing is make sure you always is, uh, have enough charge I would say at least 50% or more battery because you don't want the phone to die during the process and probably another good tip is actually connecting it to uh, iPhone um, 
a charger here and connect it so it's charging so in case you have any battery issue it won't be an issue for resetting and you know wait till all of this is completely done and it will get back to the main screen that you get when you buy an iPhone and that's the step that will confirm the phone has been reset no one can actually retrieve that once they set it up unless you have the backup copy and you or you sign into the same iCloud account you can restore everything back to your phone so hopefully this video is helpful for anyone looking to factory reset and delete everything on your iPhone SE. If this video is helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for future tips and tricks with your iOS devices. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.